Welcome back class, I am Mr. Betts and it's almost that time, it's back to school. And to those of you that are already there, I say, what, how are you already back to school? I know the South starts earlier, but how far South are you, Peru? Anyway, now is the time to start developing great study habits and for that, why don't we use the device that's always near to you, your cell phone. These are 10 apps for you to just dominate your classes this year. Uh, all, they're all free and most are available for Android and iOS. But there are some that are just for Android because that's how I roll. The first app is Todoist, available for iOS and for Android. This is my number one to-do app. And this is great for keeping track of your assignments. I use it for keeping track of production of these videos, but you can approach your classes in the same exact way. In it, you can put the tasks or assignments that you have to get done, you can break them down by category. For me, I break them down by production category, but you can break them down by class. Read pages 100 through 105, answer questions one through three for English, due August 9th. It's right there. By having that list right there, you know exactly what you need to do and when you have to get it done by. Makes focusing really easy. Speaking of focus, my next app is Pomodoro Timer. Now the one that I'm gonna put a link to, that's just for Android, but there's a ton of Pomodoro Timers out there. But it doesn't really matter because Pomodoro is actually a technique. You set a timer for 25 minutes and then you work for 25 minutes straight. And when that's over, you stop. You take a break from three to five minutes. The reason it's called Pomodoro is because people used to have tomato timers like in their kitchens and the Italian word for tomato is pomodoro. But believe it or not, it's a really easy way for you to get started on something that you've been procrastinating with, especially big, big projects because starting on a project that's gonna take you four, five, six hours seems daunting. But knowing that you're only gonna have to work for 25 minutes before you get a break makes it a little bit easier to get that ball going. But if you need a little bit more of an incentive to get going, check out Forest for ISO or Android. It is by far the cutest app on this list. In Forest, you're basically planting and nurturing trees by working. That you're setting a timer, which is planting a tree. The longer the timer, the bigger the tree. And once you hit start, the seed is in the ground and you can't use your phone for anything else until that timer is over or else you kill your tree. And if you make it to the end, you actually get to collect that tree, uh, um, you have a little plot of land that it goes into and you get like this virtual currency that you can accumulate to buy different species of bushes and trees and even like background music to keep you going. And one more cute aspect of this is when you actually use that virtual currency to buy a tree, Forest, the app itself, donates to Trees for the Future, which is dedicated to planting trees in dozens of impoverished uh, countries that have been ravaged by deforestation. You can get more extreme with this whole locking down your phone. You can use apps like Stay Focus, which will limit the amount of time that you can use or just shut down the amount of time you can use on time-consuming apps. That's up to you. Forest works really well for me. But an app that you're not gonna wanna block because it's so super helpful and I hope you have it now are the Google Drive suite of apps. The Google suite of apps is really, really good. First off, you get 15 gigabytes of free storage and then you get Google Docs in place of like Microsoft Word. You get Google Slides instead of PowerPoint. You get uh, Google Sheets instead of Excel. You get Forms and instead of Forms. Now yes, Microsoft Office is a superior suite of apps but A, this is free, and B, you can access all of your stuff anywhere that you have an internet or Wi-Fi connection. You can even make your documents available offline so you can use them, you can make edits to them, and then they'll just like refresh the next time you hook up to a Wi-Fi connection. These apps are gonna be particularly great when you're doing collaborative functions like working on a project or maybe doing study sheets together. So definitely, if you don't already have these, or if you have a Gmail and you haven't already downloaded these, why not? The next one I wanna recommend, it's not so much an app as it is more of like a browser extension for Chrome, but I think they also now make it for Safari and Firefox and Edge, whatever that is, is Grammarly. Grammarly is a completely free grammar checker. I think it works really, really well when you're in things like Google Docs or even better, when you're in writing an email. A lot of times, not only spelling, but grammar is just completely off in these kind of cases and Grammarly will 
generally points you in the right direction. I know there are like higher levels of Grammarly that you can get, but the basic plugin that you can have on your browser works fine for me. If you're interested in this, please use the link down in my description because for everybody that uses that link, I get a little bit of a kickback. Doesn't cost you anything and helps the channel. So uh, do it. Let's say you are working on a project and you're brainstorming or maybe you're taking notes and that regular outline format isn't working for you, maybe check out Mindly. This iOS and Android app is a visual mapping app. It's the best one that I've found so far. It's a really good way to kind of plan out and store your ideas. You basically just start with these circles with main topics and then you uh, can add circles around that. And then if you feel that you have to go a little bit deeper on these one of the addition circles, you just go down to to the next level. You can play around with the colors and all that kind of stuff like that, but I think it just works really, really well for brainstorming. Another thing that you should be mindful of as this semester starts is how you're actually spending your time working on your courses, uh, studying, working on projects, doing homework. And for that, I recommend Timesheet. Timesheet is a way to keep track of the time that you're spending doing different tasks. Again, this is one of the things that I use in my production of these videos, but you can use it in a similar way for when you're actually working on your courses. You can break down each course into a project and when you start doing homework on that one, hit start. When you're done, stop the timer, uh, put the tag into the function. Was it homework? Was it studying? Was it project? And then you can run like these statistics that will show you using uh, uh, bar graphs and using pie charts, how you're actually spending your time. Are you using it efficiently? Which courses do you really have to watch out for? Which courses are really sucking up all of your time? And then you can start making plans as to how you're going to approach that in the future. Now you're gonna get a lot of papers, documents, forms that you're gonna to have to keep track of in ScanBot for iOS and Android. This is a great app that allows you to scan each and every one of them and automatically have that converted into a PDF. No more worrying about losing important papers. And let's say you're a kind of person that likes to study by making handwritten notes, but you can't be carrying them everywhere. Make your notes, scan them. You'll have that PDF on your phone. A little tip that you can do, you can actually set uh, where it gets saved to. You can actually set that to go into your Google Drive so that it's always there as well. Now this is a history channel, so I gotta give you a history specific app, and for that, I recommend Romulus's suite of apps. They have AP US history, they have government, they have European history, they have world history now. And these are all at an AP level, but I think if you're taking any kind of secondary history course, these are apps that you could be using. And they're all developed by Tom Ritchie, the man himself. If you haven't seen any of his videos in your classes yet, just wait, they're coming. Okay. Each one of the apps comes with banks of hundreds of questions. They're split up into different topics. Cool things are you can set it to like midterm or final mode in which they'll ask you only first half of the questions or all of the questions possibly. It'll keep track of your score as you go along in your session. Really great app to have. Last app that I want to recommend is not so much to help you with your studies, but just to help you with like personal development. It's called Habitica for iOS or Android. It's a way to gamify habit building skills. See what it is, is you create like this little character, a role playing character, and then by establishing good habits, you earn experience points and gold that you can use for like gaining new items. You can join guilds of your friends or even strangers so that you can kind of like help each other develop good habits. I find it's really good to use for like personal habits. I have three habits that I'm working on right now. 20 push-ups a day, 40 sit-ups a day, and reading half an hour a day. Every time I do that, my character gets more experience, gets more gold. It makes me feel pretty good. And uh, since I started using it, I haven't missed a day. Just being able to like go, ooh, I got like a gold piece and a half for just reading 30 minutes. Gives me that little bit extra to actually get it done. 
So those are my 10 app recommendations for you to just dominate this upcoming school year. Let me know in the comments which ones you're gonna try out, which ones work best, or which ones that I missed and I myself should check out. And make sure you subscribe because here on Mr. Betts Class, we go over American history from the beginning to the end every Thursday using historical parody songs, funny videos, animated shorts, and it's all gonna start on the 23rd. That's right, fall semester starts on August 23rd. Be safe and I'll see you next time.